how did nationalism lead to the independence movements in Africa? Well, as you can see from this map, most of the countries in Africa gained their independence from the European powers in the 1960s. Egypt, of course, is one exception, and there's a few that came in the 50s. Morocco from France in the 50s, Libya, uh, Libya in the 1951. These, these countries in the Sahara, they gained their independence from the Europeans in the 1960s. Same thing all the way down. Egypt, of course, is the exception to that in 1922. So I believe the standard says, how did nationalism lead to the independence movements in Africa in the 20th century? I'm saying in the 1960s. I mean, Egypt is like one of the only exceptions. Eritrea doesn't get it, gain independence until 1993, which is unbelievable, but anyway. Well, we got three countries to look at. South Africa, uh, they gained their independence in 1931. But the apartheid does not end until 1994. The apartheid was a legal separation of the races. So the white British had their public facilities that they went to, and the black South Africans had their public facilities that they went to, and it was legal. Okay, It was like segregation in the United States, but theirs did not end until 1994. When it ended in 1994, Nelson Mandela is let out of prison, and he becomes the nation's first uh, black president. Kenya. Kenya gets its independence in 1963, along with Nigeria in 1960. And what we're driving at here is this feeling of nationalism. So what is nationalism, and how does it lead to independence? Here's what nationalism says. Nationalism says, we believe that our country is great. It's like extreme patriotism. And if you're extremely patriotic about the place that you live in, then you don't want anybody else ruling over you. So if there's a European country that's ruling over you, but you're extremely patriotic about being Kenyan, you don't want to be known as a British Kenyan. You want to be known as a Kenyan. And you want to kick the British out, or the French, or whoever it is, the European powers. Well. A wave, it was like a tidal wave of nationalism swept over the continent of Africa in the 1960s. And basically all of these people got the feeling like, hey, we need to be our own countries. Some of the Europeans went peacefully. Some of them did not go so peacefully. I believe uh, the British probably did go peacefully, the French liked their colonies, and they did not go so peacefully. Uh, but bottom line, most of the continent of Africa, most, I'm not saying all, but most of these countries gained their independence um, in the 1960s. Now there's a few statistical outliers, of course, some in the 20s, some in the 70s and 80s and 90s, but the grand majority got their independence in the 60s. And what's responsible for their independence? Yes, that's right. Nationalism. I'm glad you were paying attention. And nationalism, and remember, is extreme patriotism for one's own country. Thank you for listening.